You may be in this position for a reason. Don't let time slip away. Do not let it slip away. The last thing you want to do is wake up on your deathbed and be like, damn, that, that moment in life where I was lonely, I can see in my timeline, that was because I was supposed to mentally develop to this state where I was going to be able to do what I wanted to do. So you probably need to hear this right now. Especially if you're looking at me right now, looking at me in my eyes, you're probably needing to hear this because I used to be someone who thought this of myself. And what I used to think is that I didn't fit in anymore. Um, I used to think that I didn't have any more friends. And I used to think that, you know, I was kind of, just recently, I was kind of an outcast. There's a lot of people that are feeling lonely out there. Um, they think that it's because of them. And uh, you already know what I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not true. That's definitely not true. Uh, basically, you know, we all grow up, right? We all go through a lot of uh, phases in life. And uh, I know a lot of my audience out there can probably relate. You know, sometimes you get stuck in a, in a phase where, you know, you may feel a little bit lonely. Maybe you're not in a relationship. Um, I'm not in a relationship right now. And that used to get at me. That used to bother me because I would see my friends getting in and out of relationships. And I would become to wonder, like, man, I, I haven't been in a relationship in like two, three years, you know, maybe even maybe three, four years. You know, is my turn coming soon? <laughs> and uh, I laugh because that's such a that's such a low energy thing to think, you know, I, and now I understand that. And uh, basically, a lot of you guys out there are starting to realize um, what really is meaningful to you. A lot of you guys out there are starting to really feel um, that, you know, what I'm doing right now, maybe it used to make me happy or I thought it did, but now I'm starting to feel some type of way. I'm starting to think that maybe this isn't good for me. Maybe I want to start going this way. Maybe I start. I want to start pulling away from these groups of people because one, I thought I didn't fit in, but really maybe it's the conversation everyone's having. Maybe it's the context Everybody's talking about materials. Everybody's talking about, oh, oh, I, I slept with this person or, oh, man, you know, I'm making a lot of money. I'm, I'm making the most money. I'm buying all this stuff. Maybe these types of conversations are starting to make you feel like you don't fit in, like you're an outcast. Because I'll tell you what. Once you start waking up, whatever they want to call it, once you start um, aligning, I would say, with source, with your inner purpose, with your inner energy, your inner being, the universe, once you start to align, you really start to um, see what it is in this world, see what everything is, actually is. And what I mean by that is um, you've heard a lot of people say material things do not matter. And you don't want to go too far and take that away to the bank because obviously you need food to eat. You need a house to stay in and sleep and live and, and enjoy yourself in. But when you really get down to it, we put so much pride into having these things and into having the best of these things when really all we need to do is keep it simple because it's about what we do, not what we have, right? So... A lot of you may be feeling lonely, maybe because you don't fit in in that context anymore. And I don't even wanna call it fitting in. That's just a lack of a better uh, way to say it. Um, let's just say maybe things have changed now for you and now you, know, you notice there's less people around you, which might be good because now, now maybe you ha might have more time to think about you know, your life and what it really means to you. Because I'll be honest, a lot of the stuff we get, guys, is propaganda. A lot of the shit we get is spoon-fed to us, um, you know, from our uh, from our just basic knowledge to our, our educational systems to nutrition. I mean, you, you 
I know you guys, some of you guys seen what the health out there. A lot of a lot of this stuff out there, guys, has been spoon fed. And who's to say they whoever was giving this information, this mis false information, who's to say they were right or wrong, right? You know, I don't want to blame them. Maybe they thought they were doing the right thing. But a lot of us have been kind of dazed and confused. So maybe right now, instead of thinking of it thinking of it as I'm lonely, I don't have anyone to hang out with. I don't have people to have good times with as much as I did before. Maybe you still do, but it's not as much, right? You notice you're not out and about with people and doing things and, and socializing, right, as much as you did before. So maybe it's a little different now, but that might be because, oh, of course, it's not a coincidence, right? There's no coincidences. So what I'm saying is it might be because, you know, you, you're getting this time to think, to grow and develop as, as a human being. Eternally, externally, right? Inside out. So I don't want you guys to be afraid out there because I, I know I did. I know I was at a point where, man, you know, this looks like it's going to be a lonely life. I don't know. Something about the 20s, man, at least for me, has really been a reality check. I've always been told I have an old soul. I'm mature, I'm mature for my age, but... Man, it's been it's been a lot of growing and development, which I love. You know, it's kind it's came full circle. So I feel now, you know, going through that and understanding that. Again, you guys see my other video before. Don't victim. Why am I victimizing myself and saying these things to myself instead of, man, I got a good life, man. I actually and I'm in control of all of the things that being lonely. I can go out and I can do things, but really, I don't want to. You know, I, that's truly how I feel because it, you'll get to a point where you're trying to solve this. Okay, I don't want to be lonely anymore. I want to go out and mango. I want to go out and have relations. Okay, you know, ooh, you know, I need a girl. It gets to a point where you start to want to do things with people. But then as you attempt to, you're very selective, right? You're very selective because at least for me, my vibration, my vibration is what is most important for me. And I only want to put myself in an environment as well as around people that are going to not only support, but promote my vibration. So that can be another reason why you feel lonely. You may not realize it, but I'm telling you right now, you are subconsciously protecting yourself, not doing things, staying away, staying aside and focusing on what's important to you because source is strong, baby. And when you, when, when, when you start to wake it up, it almost becomes, and especially if you trust and surrender to it, it almost just starts to take over and take control. Like, I don't know, this is my third, fourth video today. I haven't made a video in a week and I was tripping, but I wasn't at the same time because I was like, you know what? Maybe this is the path for me right now. Maybe I just need to, you know, not make videos right now. And now I'm really feeling that urge and I'm, I have no resistance. So... Guys, just listen to yourself, listen to your mind, listen to your heart, listen to the universe because it's always connected, flowing through us and to us. So um, if you guys are feel lonely again, man, really just think about it. Are you truly lonely, right? I know there's some circumstances where people, you know, they might actually be, hey, <laughs> population's 50 in my town, brother. I am lonely, which is okay, but we're still here talking. We're still here connected, right? We're still here engaging. We're still here um, doing it. So again, don't don't take where you are for granted. Don't victimize yourself. You may be in this position for a reason. Don't let time slip away. Do not let it slip away. The last thing you want to do is wake up on your deathbed and be like, damn, that that moment in life where I was lonely, I can see in my timeline that was because I was supposed to mentally develop to this state where I was going to be able to do what I wanted to do. Guys, I appreciate you rocking with me. You already know who it is. Forever young, love and light to all and to all love and light. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I just flipped over my phone. There was like a, a message up. I'm like, oh my God, that didn't record. It did though. I'll see you guys later.